Hi, this is a new video where we talk about awesome.NET MAUI community libraries. It is usual for applications to load data from servers and manage async data. The UI management is really important. Elegantly indicating that the data is being loaded or refreshed is not an easy task. For that reason, today we are going to talk about Skeleton. It's a library created by Host Studio to display visual placeholder while the content is being loaded. Let's go! So, Xamarin Forms Skeleton is a library for Xamarin Forms, an existing library for Xamarin Forms, and already ported and available for .NET MAUI that use a popular approach when loading data that is uh, provide a visual placeholder while the content is being loaded. This library is created by Holus Studio with contributions from people like Agustin Bonilla, Seba Cabrera, Felipe Baltasar, or Jim Marie Alfonsi. As always, we are going to see this library in action, first of all, and then we are going to um, take a look to the code, how to use it, what are the possibilities, properties, etc., etc. So first of all, let's move to Visual Studio and have the application, the sample application running an app to see the possibilities. So the first option is to use the skeleton itself that as you can see, it show a placeholder in every of the items that appears on the screen. This is the basic usage of the library, but then we can have different kinds of animations, different effects when using the placeholder. For example, use a bit that as you can see it's beating while loading. And we can have different effects like fade, fade in, fade out, and then load the data. Then we can use a vertical shake effect loading the data, and we have more options like, of course, like vertical, horizontal, shake effect. And of course, then one of the most interesting things is something like this, where we can create our own animations and apply our custom animations when loading the data. Once we have seen the library, what are the possibilities? Let's see the code. First of all, the library is available on Nugget, it's called orusstudio.maui.skeleton. You can use this package, the latest versions now at this time when we are creating this video is the version 2.0.0 version. And to use it, we are going to move to the sample, to the skeletal sample. We have here the main page that is loading all the different page. So we have this the full skeleton animation with the beat, the fade in, fade out, and the shake options, also with a custom animation sample here. Let's take a look to the skeleton, the first one, where we can see that to use the library, we need to use the maui.skeleton namespace. After including a space to use it, we have attached properties. So if we want, for example, to apply a skeleton to this frame, control, we have different attached properties. The basic main property is SVC. This property is a Boolean that indicates if we are going to show the placeholder or not. We have a background color property to manage the color of the placeholder. And then another interesting property is is parent. Is parent is a Boolean that indicates if this is a container and we want to apply the skeleton to all the children that contains this container. In this case, if we want to apply the skeleton animation also to the image that is contained in the frame. We have, of course, of course, more properties. We can see all the properties in the project. So we can see here the his parent property that we already have seen, the his VC and the background property. But we also have the hide property that is a boolean that indicates if the control is high when, when it's loading, when it's busy. Then we have properties to manage the animation. We have uh, defined animations, like for example, the fade animation. If we scroll a little bit, we can see here a sample, for example, in this line. Let me increase the font size a little bit, where in the animation property, we have default animations and we can access to this default predefined animations using the source property. In this case, we are going to use the fade animation and we have different parameters to set 
the interval and manage how we manage these default animations. So we have properties to choose the base animation, the default animations between different possibilities like fade, beat, horizontal shake, vertical shake, and then we have a possibility to set a custom animation that we are going to see uh, later. And uh, the default value is none. We have the animation interval when it's busy. This is a value in milliseconds. The default value is 500. And we can, of course, manage this if we want this more accelerated or more, more slower. So let's go to the custom animation and see how we can create custom animations. So scrolling a little bit, we can see samples like this, where in the animation we have something binded to my custom animation. My custom animation is a class that inherits from base animation. Base animations uh, force us to rewrite the animate method where we are going to use a prior animation and also the stop animation that is when we are going to stop the animation. Here we receive the bindable object, the view that uh, is the target where we are going to apply the animation. That's interesting because we can use access to different properties from this view. And of course, we can use here all the animation CPI from .NET MAUI. So here, for example, we are applying some rotations and we are just organizing all these rotations with some fade to properties. While when we are stopping, we are just rotating to the default value and fade to the uh, one value back. So this is a custom property, a class where we can manage everything in a easier way. In that way, we can just manage custom animations when is busy is true. So this is a skeleton allow us to apply a, a really popular approach to manage. So the skeleton control is uh, giving us the popular approach when that is loading, uh, giving us the possibility of show displays on placeholder where the content is uh, being loaded. So we can manage all the animations with uh, the SVC property, we can manage the uh, appearance with the background color, we can uh, display the placeholder in hiding controls with the hide property or in a container in the children's with the his parent property. And then we can choose between different predefined animations like fade, beat, shake, etc., with the animation property or provide all self a custom animation, again, creating a class inheriting from the base animation uh, class. Then we can manage the timing of the animation with the animation interval, etc. So, so that's it. Uh, Skeleton, a really interesting library when you are loading data in your .NET Mobile applications. I hope this library has been interesting for you. Share the result if you used it in your application. If you have any doubts or questions, or you want to share which library you would like me to talk about in upcoming videos, leave a comment in this video. See you soon with more content. Bye.